Hello YouTube. This is a little video I shot back on October 3rd. We did a 13 county in two days trip to get geocaches on western Colorado. Um, on the second day on the way back I shot some footage going over Independence Pass. We went through Aspen heading east and um, towards Buena Vista and I shot some video. It wasn't really going to be a YouTube video so there's not a whole lot of narration but I do say a little bit of stuff in there so um, and I climb a rock at one point so that's cool so go ahead and give this a watch um, I got a couple more videos that are, will be coming up that uh, are older and then I'll get to the more current stuff the last video with the snow is current this is old so enjoy um, Independence Pass just east of Aspen Colorado <laughs> Spent half an hour in Aspen, and that was just on the road. Um, got no GPS signal. Well, I got GPS signal, but no 4G or anything, so I can't load maps, can't do anything. So we're kind of winging it, hoping that this is the right direction. Uh, says this is towards Independent Pass. So got the geocache, though. So that's all that matters. And we'll figure it out. Hopefully I'll get a signal at some point and I can load up maps so at least I know how far I got to go or where I'm going or whatever. But the trees are really bright back there. So, I don't know. About 9,000 feet here. slippery it wasn't but then you come up 
up here and you're like, ooh, it'll just be the same on the other side. But no. Ooh. It's a drop off. You can see the backside. Yeah. That's where I was. Just went past a sign that said road narrows. So let's see what we got going on. It's not super wide as it is. This is independent pass, by the way, just in case I YouTube this. Pretty narrow, windy road, but it's really pretty this time of year. Bicycle. There's almost enough room for both of us. Jeez. He's got a lens going on. Jeez. And so, I don't know. Back there, it said road narrows, and it got really narrow. This doesn't seem too bad. Uh, last time the altimeter was updated, it said 93. Let's see. Drive off the cliff while it's updating. And based on GPS signal, and we're still climbing. So, oh, here, here's a narrow spot. This is nice. And last time we got one of these really narrow spots, a car came the other way. Big old. Yeah, like oh, this. Oh, here guy. comes a car. Truck. Does he see us at all? Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna stop here. It's a little wider. Yeah. How close am I to the guardrail? You can go further this way. <laughs> nice. Oh, getting up to the top of Independence Pass here. The last remaining trees are kind of here. We're gonna go up around this corner. And we will be higher than the tree line. Battery died a little bit ago. Don't know if it, how long it'll hold out because I forgot my spare. So, yeah, I'm gonna shut off now. Okay, so apparently that's La Plata Peak, fifth highest in Colorado. We're up here at Independence Pass. Um, don't know how long the battery's gonna last. Doesn't look like long at all. But we're kind of, the tree line right over there we're about even with, but on this mountain, yeah, there's, it's barren right there, nothing. So, it's going to shut off, but yeah. About 14.3, 14.343 is how high that peak is, fifth highest in Colorado. And it shut off. All right, as you can see, my battery died. Um, I think I mentioned it in one of the clips, um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if not, watch this one or this one. Subscribe. I, I got to figure out which side it is. Uh, but you know, uh, tune in for the next video, which again is it's another geocaching video. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it is older. And then I shot a current one today um, about how we keep warm in the motorhome. But that'll be two or three videos from now. So uh, hope you enjoyed. Peace.